What's up there guys, this is Corb and welcome to a guide on keybinding. This was a requested guide from you guys, so we're going over what makes for good keybinding. Um, just some guidelines to follow if you maybe feel like you don't keybind enough, or if you're not binding keys at all. Uh, hopefully this video will help you guys out. So first off, we're going to talk about why keybinding is something that you definitely should be doing. Then we're going to brush over some basic theory. Uh, then we're going to round off the video with some hand cam footage of me actually using my keybinds which I'm fairly certain is going to make most of you guys puke, as I do have a pretty unorthodox way of playing. So first of all, if you don't use keybinds, you absolutely should start to learn. Um, clicking your abilities in just about any game makes it harder to keep track of what's happening around you, um, easier to misclick spells, and above all else, it makes you far, far slower than anyone else who is actually using keybinds. Binding your spells might seem like a huge challenge if you're not used to it, especially in a game like WoW, you know, where you've got sometimes 30 plus abilities that need to be bound, but my advice to beginners would be just to start out slow. If you're a Frost Mage, keybind your Frostbolt to a really easy to use key and practice with that in BGs or whatever um, until you're used to it. If you're a Destro Lock, you could do the same with Incinerate. If you're a Warrior, Mortal Strike or Whirlwind and so on. And that's how you start out. I remember back when I started playing in the Burning Crusade, I was level 61 and I made my first two keybinds ever. Um, I chose to bind Incinerate and Shadow Fury. Incinerate was a good choice, but maybe I should have practiced keybinding Immolate or Conflag uh, before Shadow Fury. And that's just because when you're starting out, you want to choose abilities to bind that you use the most. And this is so that you get the most practice possible as you play. Um, and just start training your brain to rely on keys over mouse clicks. And all of this kind of feeds into the golden rule of keybinding. Uh, you're going to have keys that are very, very easy to reach. And you're going to have keys that are a little bit harder to reach. You then have spells within the game that are very, very important to your class, and spells that are maybe not so important to use quickly while in combat. The rule is then fairly simple. Uh, you want to be keybinding your most important or most used spells to your best, most accessible keybinds. We can break things down into our priority system where we have high, medium, and low priority. Um, using Destruction Warlocks as an example, our high priority spells would be things like Immolate, Incinerate, Conflag, uh, maybe Fear and Chaos Bolt. Maybe even a few more than that, and with spells like these, our key abilities, uh, we want to be using the most local keybinds to our movement keys. Assuming that we're playing with WASD, we're going to be using keys like 2, 3, R, F and C for our highest priority spells. This is obviously just to name some example keys. Uh, at the end of the day, it comes down to what you're comfortable with. Then we have a medium priority spells, and these can be things like Ember Tap, Shadow Fury, um, Unending Resolve, Dark Bag and our Sacrificial Pact, and these spells. You know, th these are things that we still need to be able to use quickly, but aren't part of a key damage or CC rotation. Um, for spells like these, we might be using keys like TGV, uh, or maybe, you know, a modifier keybind like Shift R or Shift F. Again, these spells are important, but having something like Unending Resolve on one of your best keybinds kind of wastes the comfort and efficiency that you could have uh, from using that bind because you won't be using it all the time. And finally, this brings us to the low priority spells, things like Create a Soul Well. Uh, banish, summon a demon, applying buffs, things like that. Some people don't even bother with keybinding these, but I would still recommend it. Um, spells like Banish can definitely come in handy, and you know, quickly rebuffing in arenas can also be really, really good against certain comps, so I'd say that it is worth the effort. And the keys that you might be using for spells like this could be 5, 6, maybe F2, F3, uh, or maybe you'll be using modifiers again like Shift G or Shift T. It really depends on the way that your hand rests on the keyboard, but the idea is just to have these spells keybound, and it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Uh, whether the keys are a little bit awkward or out of the way. Having mentioned modifiers like Shift and Control, I would recommend learning to use these. Uh, they can be a little bit tricky if you're still trying to learn the basics, but they do, in some ways, actually kind of double the amount of keys that you have by giving each key a secondary function. Uh, the F bind on its own could be your Fear key bind, for example, but you know, Shift F could maybe be your Focus Fear, uh, or a different spell altogether and stuff like that. Now this part I almost forgot, uh, we're going to be checking into movement keys a lot of the time. We're going to be running while holding down left and right click on our mouse. Uh, and all of the time we're going to be turning our character by holding down right click on our mouse. Um, what does this mean for our movement keys? Uh, well, our turn left and turn right keys should never be getting used. Keyboard turning is slow and clunky compared to turning with the mouse. Um, and it's just not feasible at all if you've got a melee kind of running around you. Um, instead, we should be using our strafe left and straight right keys and turning with the mouse instead. Um, you can see that I've unbound my turn keys altogether and used them now as strafe keys instead. Just way, way more efficient. Um, and for good measure, you can also unbind your backpedal keybind if you want to. You have no practical reason to ever to ever need to walk backwards. Uh, I keep it bound for no reason, really. I could and maybe should bind an extra ability here. Um, but I 
just need to consider for you guys as well. Now I think I already mentioned a golden rule, so this this new rule is just going to have to be a platinum rule or something. And this rule is, use whatever keybinds are comfortable for you. There is no universally correct way to bind your spells in World of Warcraft or any other game either. Um, all of the keys that I just read out were examples from the top of my head. Uh, so definitely make sure to do your own thing and play your way if you're just starting out with binds. That's what I did. I ended up playing with the fucking right hand side of my keyboard using arrow keys and the number pad. And to most people the footage coming up is going to look completely disgusting. But it is how I learned to play and all my spells are comfortably keybound. Um, so yeah, let's get into the footage. I'm going to let it play out for a minute uh, then we'll wrap this video up. I'm sure that you guys love that, uh, but anyways, yeah, if you're starting out with keybinds, don't try and copy someone else's binds, especially not mine. Um, start out slow by keybinding your most used abilities to the easiest keys on your board, practice a lot, uh, train yourself to use them, force yourself, you know, uh, and work your way up from there. Uh, if you're only clicking right now, I can 100% guarantee that you're going to feel your gameplay improving as soon as you start getting used to your first few keybinds. Uh, so good luck with that. And I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video. I'm sure a lot of you guys do use keybinds already. Then I guess I still hope you enjoyed this video for the footage of my Mongo binds. Uh, so cheers again everybody. Have an awesome day. And I'm going to catch all of you guys just a tad bit later.